Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Hey y'all, quick note uh, from the editor just popping in here. Um, it may look like I have jaundice in this entire video. My hands look a little weird. That's because I got in a fight with my uh, printer, my ink cartridge. So um, that's what that is. And it took two days for me to finally um, get it off. So that's what that is. Okay, on with the video. So today I wanted to do a flip through of my catch all planner. I have her all set up for fall. Um, if you have been on my channel before, you know that I'm kind of a creepy all year round kind of girl, but I did change out a couple things that were more like summer themed and just, it didn't really have a theme and now it's exactly how I want it for going into fall and Halloween. So if you're interested in checking that out, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it. So this beautiful cover is from Cardinal Planners. Um, I have an unboxing video here on my channel where I first got it and I was completely geeking out. Um, so I'll put a link up, up there in the eye and in the description box if you would like to check that out. Highly, highly recommend Cardinal Planners. So this is my catch-all planner. Um, and here in the front, I have a little bat bow magnet. So as you can see, it's a magnet. It goes right on there. This is a journaling card from my very first babe box, the Personality Crisis 2.0. It's my favorite babe box to date, and I love it, so I just put that journaling card there. And then this is actually a magnet as well, so you may have seen here on the front this. That is the back of the magnet, but I think it's so cute, and I love it right there. And then this is the cover. So this is a clear cover. I've talked about it many, many times. I've had this cover for quite a while now. This is from Cloth and Paper. And this is my clear cover. I've had it, I love it. I have no desire to change it, which is crazy because normally I was always wanting to change my covers. And I think that's because I never really found the perfect cover for me before when I was just using Happy Planner. So now that I can really make it my own, I'm not tired of it, I love it. So this is a magnet as well. This is from the Personality Crisis 2.0 Babe Box from the Honey Bee Shop. Um, and these, clear die cuts so this is from honeybee shop that that and that um these oh my gosh this is just so cute i love it and then this is from the last of us part two from the collector's edition um it came with a couple clear stickers so i had to put them on here and then this is amazing this <laughs> i got this at zoomies and it just cracks me up i love it Okay, so now we have a piece of vellum, and it's actually laminated, which I know might seem kind of weird, but I had this piece of vellum, and I just wanted it to be a little more, like, sturdy, and I said, well, screw it, I'm just gonna run through the laminator, and I think it came out really cool. So this pattern is from Bare Necessity Sticker Co., and I purchased the digital pattern and printed it on a piece of vellum at home. And this is a brand new washi dashboard that I just made, actually made it tonight. Been wanting to make a new washi dashboard for quite some time. And so I had some black cardstock, so I used that as the background. And then I just took some of my favorite washies and, and uh, kind of lined them up. And so all of these are from the Honeybee Shop, except for the skeleton one. Uh, he is from Michael's, he was just one of the cheap, washies that you know are in like the bins at the front of michael's i i love it i have like four of them um and the rest of these are from the honeybee shop and then on the back we have so if you're familiar with the mcr b6tn project which if you aren't i'll put it in the cards um up in the eye and in the description box i have an mcr themed planner notebook journal whatever you want to call it, it's a traveler's notebook and um, it's a project that I'm really passionate about. I'm really proud of it. And I created this as a cover for one of the Traveler's Notebook inserts. So it was B6 size and I just converted it to um, size for the size for this planner, which is classic happy planner size, but it is just a nine disc planner. I wish there was a different name for it. I think we should come up with a new name for it because it's not a happy planner. It's just a planner. The discs, I can't believe I didn't mention this yet. These discs are from Muse Lab. They have bats on them. They're incredible. Um, but yeah, so I just resized that and put that on the back. And then I have a piece of acetate from one of the babe boxes. Can't remember which one. 
but it's hollow grid. I mean, you can't go wrong. And then this was the first washi dashboard I ever made. And this washi is from Honeybee Shop and also from uh, Cookie Sticker Co. And then this is one of the, you know, like those Halloween paper pads from Michaels. They usually come out with one every year. And if you wait until you get a good coupon, because I think they're like 20 bucks, um, you can get it for like 40% off or whatever. And uh, it's really nice cardstock. And I just thought it was so cute and I had to put it in my planner. So that's the back. So now we are in my monthly section. And admittedly, I don't... <laughs> I don't use my monthlies very much in my catch-all planner or really in any of my paper planners. Um, for some reason, like, I feel like I manage my monthly calendar digitally, so I use a Google calendar and that really keeps me, like, on track for the month. But I need the paper planner for the, for like, weekly and daily planning, but I have monthly inserts. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't, so these are undated, but I went ahead and you know, wrote in there. I just need to actually date them. Um, so yeah, my monthly inserts. These are from Lights Planner Action. Um, you, can, you can use my friend Queen's code Queen10, I believe. I believe it's Queen10. I will have it in the description box. Uh, if you want to save a little money on Lights Planner Action, they are incredible. I've talked about Lights Planner Action many times here on the channel because I love the quality of the paper. I love all of the designs. I love the owner best. She just, I love her values and how she runs her, her business. And I just, she's very talented and I love it. So these are from Lights Planner Action. And then this is another new dashboard I just created. So this black and white stripe background is from the most recent Bay Box, the Planner Royalty Bay Box. So that was for um, August, 2021. And I really, I'm obsessed with black and white stripes. So I printed that as the background. I wanted to do something along the spine here. So I did that same washi tape from before, my little skeletons. And then Queen sent me uh, these things in a happy mail um, very recently. And I have no clue where they're from. So, but they're so cute. I had to use them in my planner. So I just use a little double stick tape to hold them down. And then I have some washi just for, for decoration there. And then we flip it and then there's just black cardstock on the other side. Um, I did laminate this. Um, and then I have, this was another uh, thing that she sent me in Happy Mail. This is from Honey Bee Shop last year. I bought this from like, there's some of the blackout decals. I can't even remember. I may have bought these like on Mercari after the fact. Y'all, I don't remember. It's, it's too much to keep track of. <laughs> this is from Shine Sticker Studio. And I got this last year. I had to have it. It is just the cutest thing. So it's just a little die cut and I laminated it. And then this is from Walmart. I got it last year. It was a whole pack of bats and they were for like party favors or something. Like they were with the party stuff. And I was like, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need those. So I'm um, also Shine Sticker Studio Queen has just been um, named as one of their PR team reps. So she has a code. I believe her code is just queen. I'll have all this in the description box, so check that out. Shine Sticker Studio is another amazing brand. So now we are into my weekly section, and this is where we get to my favorite blackout inserts. So I'll show you this because for some reason this week, I didn't really use my planner. Um, I think it was because my week was super busy. I did use it on the second half of the week. The first half of the week, for some reason, I didn't use it. So this is great to show you. Um, I have a lot of like personal and, and like, do you hear that? It is raining so hard. Okay. Still waiting. Okay, so I apologize. It's still raining. I don't think it's going to stop, but I wanted to continue recording because I'm honestly not going to have time to finish this tomorrow because tomorrow's crazy busy but anyway so this is one of my favorite layouts I've ever done this is from a couple weeks ago um it's pretty rare that you see an after the pen in my catch-all over on my Instagram because 
I typically have a lot of like personal stuff in it, stuff about work and things I just don't want to like put out there. But this spread, I didn't really have any of that. So I thought I would show you guys. Um, it wasn't a super busy week, so I didn't have like too much in the way of like, you know, writing, but it, uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's super cute. And then this is my current week. So I actually, I used my on the go planner for Tuesday because I was working in the office. So I have to transfer the stuff over to here. Uh, so that's why there's nothing there and I need to catch up for today, but I'm obsessed with this layout. This is using the most recent bait box, the planner royalty. The green on the blackout paper is everything. I'm really excited because I just ordered some blackout inserts because I'm almost out of these. Um, and there's a grid background. I'm really, really excited to try that. Um, and this is just a little bookmark that I got last year from Shine Sticker Studio. I mean, I had to have it. I had to have it. What can I say? And then I just have a little paper clip on there that Queen gave me. And then this is the back of my weekly section. This is a piece of vellum. Uh, this pattern paper was from the Personality Crisis 2.0 bait box, my favorite from last September. It's hard to believe it's been an entire year since I found the bait box. Um, and then this back section here is where I keep my extra paper. So this is a dashboard I made a long time ago using one of the pattern papers, um, one of the digital papers and I just printed it. And so um, this was from Personality Crisis 2.0 as well. And then all of these die cuts are from the Honeybee shop. And I mean, I'm kind of obsessed with it. And then here on the back, um, this is all Personality Crisis 2.0 themed. This bat here, it's got a little smudge on it I need to get off. It's from some of the adhesive from an old pocket I had on here. Um, but I made this with my Cricut. These are all from die cuts that came with the bait box. This came with the bait box. And then this, here, let me pull this out of here so you can really see. This is a little adhesive pocket that Queen sent me. And Queen made this. And y'all, look at it. How freaking cute is that? So Queen is working on some stuff. She's planning to open a shop. And I'm super excited. This is incredible. Like, I'm obsessed with it. And so here in this pocket, I just keep like little notes uh, for myself, like little inspirational notes. So this is a vellum sticky note from the Honeybee Shop. This was from the Bare Necessity Sticker Co. Collab Bait Box. And I just wrote... You can do anything, but you can't do everything. Just to remind myself. Obviously, a Gretzko. Love a Gretzko. This is a little tag that came on a purse that I bought, and I had to keep it. I just laminated it. And this also came on it, so, I mean, save, save your tags. And then just a little inspirational quote there. And then another tag that came on some shirt or something that I laminated. Stick that right in there. So here I have my daily inserts from uh, Passion Planner. And you can actually print these for free from Passion Planner's website. You can get an entire Passion Planner and print it out if you want. Um, I printed some of the daily inserts because I don't use a daily, well, daily. <laughs> I don't use one every day, but on days when I'm really busy, like actually I'm going to pull one out because I'm going to need one tomorrow. I would just pull these out and pop them right into the middle of my weekly layout so that I can use it for that week. Um, it's very convenient, super nice to have. So definitely uh, check that out. I have a link in the description um, to the free downloads for Passion Planner. And also if you want your own Passion Planner, like an actual physical planner, which I'm gonna have an unboxing coming up soon because I ordered one of the new dailies. Um, I am a Passion Player ambassador, so you can save a little money if you order from passionplayer.com. So I have that link and the code down in the description. And then these are some layouts that I had from uh, Lights Planner Action left over. There's like two left. And then just some dot grid paper. I think I got this from Yellow Paper House. This is a piece of vellum that I printed this on. This is from Shauna Klingerman's website. It's a freebie, so definitely check that out. This is a little book that my niece made me years ago. And I always keep in my planner. Picture me and hubby. And then a little Black Parade 
thing that I may Ooh. sometimes use as a bookmark. Ooh, hear that thunder? And then I just have a sticky note here on the back, a little PlayStation sticky note if I ever need it, pen loop, and that is the planner. So let's go back here. All right, guys, so that is my fall and Halloween setup for my catch-all. Again, a lot of this stuff stays in here all the time. Like this piece of vellum, this is going to be in here all pretty much, honestly, pretty much all of this is going to stay in here year round, except for when I want to change it out. Sometimes I like to um, just do a whole new theme. I do like pastels, so sometimes I want to do a pastel theme. Um, just, you know, it really, I get inspiration from the bait box sometimes if it's one I really like, and I'll just theme the whole planner around that. I like to change it up. That's why I love having a disc bound planner, or you can do it with a ring bound as well, um, where you can just truly customize everything so you never get tired of it. Um, this is not a happy planner. This is a custom disc bound planner, discs from Muse Lab, cover from cloth and paper, inserts from Lights Planner Action, this cover from Cardinal Planners, like she custom custom. And I'm super, super happy with this setup and I don't see myself getting tired of it. I know I might eat those words, but I really don't think I'm gonna be tired of this. I cannot get enough of that blackout paper. I really can't. Look how cute this is. This is from Honeybee Shop. This is from a new shop that I discovered at a local uh, Comic-Con. I will put a link in the description because my brain is not letting me remember what the name of the shop is. So I'll put a link to their shop in case you want to check them out. Not affiliate or anything, just like to share the love. So anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through of my catch all. Um, let me know if you had any questions about anything I showed. You want to know where something's from how I made something, etc. definitely leave a comment, let me know, I appreciate it. Um, thank you again for subscribing, for liking, for watching. It means the world to me. Um, I love interacting with you guys, so thank you so much, and I will see you next time.